Hey guys, Dan from Alliance Contracting here. Today I'm going to go over this turn signal and horn kit that I just installed on my 2021 Polaris Ranger crew cab. Here's what it looks like from the front with the four ways on. That's one thing I really like about this kit as it actually has a four way flashers option. We have a nice metal turn signal handle mounted right to the steering column. The horn is on the end there. And it's real simple to turn the four ways on. You just pull that out and they start flashing. And then to cancel it, you just move the lever one way or the other. The other cool thing I like about this kit is you're able to hook up your factory dash indicator lights. I got this kit on Amazon. It was $266.90. And there's all the part numbers there everything it comes with. This kit is completely plug and play. You don't have to cut any factory wiring. First thing I did was remove these two 10 millimeter bolts and pop the taillights out on both sides. Once the taillights were out, I then took and plugged in the factory harness that came with the turn signal kit. And it's basically an interceptor harness for the factory harness on the Polaris. So again, no cutting or soldering or crimping. So the new wiring harness they give you comes in a wire loom. I just ran it right there and up underneath the tunnel. I popped out the cup holders and the center tunnel cover. There are push pin clips that you pry up with a screwdriver then you can pop them out with a pair of pliers. This is the back seat. Then I did the same thing for the front. And then on your instrument cluster, there's two push pin clips there to pop that off. And you run the wiring all up under the dash in the central location. On the back of the speedometer, there's a plug. You unplug it and you open up the back of the plug and there's little blue push pin plugs in each terminal that's not being used. You go for terminal six and seven, pop them out with a set of needle nose pliers. And then there's two wires that come in the kit and it tells you which wire goes in which terminal. I believe it's the yellow wire in terminal number six. And I think there's a brown wire that goes in terminal seven. Then that plugs into this aftermarket harness and that's what hooks up the factory turn signal indicators that came on the machine. Then they give you this factory plug here. You just remove the cap, plug it into port number one. It has your Hot wire, 12 volt hot all the time, 12 volt ignition is yellow, and then this black and green wire is a ground. They give you wire connectors, so you splice in this harness into that connector. Again, no cutting is required. There's a factory grommet here that you run everything up under the dash. So basically everything comes together up under the dash there underneath the cluster. And then here's for the turn signals. And for the turn signals, you just have to drill a three quarter inch hole, push the rubber grommet in, then push the LED light in. And then I unplugged everything here to slide it through the hole when I was installing it. They give you three for each side. So this one I just kind of wedged in the grill for now. So far it's holding up pretty good. Then I put one on the side there. So it's a pretty clean install. And they also include the horn. Just have a self tapping screw that goes into the bracket right there. Hook up those two wires, they interface into the harness. And again, everything runs up through this turn signal switch. It's a nice heavy duty unit. It's just held on with a hose clamp. You do have to be careful with this style tilt wheel. It's very, very close. Sometimes it may rub. So there is an alternate procedure if the turn signal switch interferes with your steering wheel on the tilt column. But put everything together, test it first, before you put anything back together like your covers back on and they do recommend disconnecting the negative terminal on the battery and pulling your instrument cluster fuse it's labeled on the inside of the fuse cover which is in the back here next to the battery right down there it's a seven and a half amp fuse it was a super clean install and i love how the factory tail lights blink and uh you know if you're running down the road or even on the trails Makes you feel a little safer, so you actually have some signals. You can see the rear and the front all down the side there. And what's really cool too is the flasher that's underneath the gauge cluster here that comes with this kit has a little knob on it. 
so you can turn that knob and adjust the speed at which your flashers flash. So it's a pretty slick kit, goes right on. Installation time's about an hour. Now that I've done it, I could probably do it in about a half an hour. Um, pretty simple, straightforward. It was definitely the best $266 I've spent on this thing. So looking forward to using it when we get up north. Thanks for watching.